What's up, y'all? Y'all know who it is, man. Your boy JP, the install guy. And today we are running an amp inside of this 2009 Honda Accord. And I want to show you how to run that power wire through the firewall. If you're into that type of thing, please consider subscribing because these are the things that we do here car audio tutorials, radio removals, anything car audio install related. That's what this channel is about. And from time to time, I actually like to spread some of my car audio knowledge. So whether you're a beginner or advanced, this channel's for you. So this part has already been done as far as like unbolting this 10 millimeter nut and putting the uh, power wire on. We actually got it loomed and zip tied right here. And then I zip tied it going all the way up there. Now right here, I didn't want this actually to drop and hit the engine. So what I did is I took my drill and made some small little pilot holes inside of the uh, plastic, not the metal, just the plastic part. That way you can kind of have that thing zip tied looking like that. And we did have to go across the body because there is our grommet right here. I know it's going to be that one person that says, hey, you didn't actually show us how to do it because it's already done. I'm actually showing you the location and where I went, and I'm still going to show you how to do it. So there is this grommet right over here. And as you can see, this is where your wires is going. So I don't want to actually try to make my split right here because I don't want to actually cut any wire. What I did is I came over here on the outer side. You can push through and tell that there's no wires there. And then what I do is I take my box cutter. This is just a cheap one from Harbor Freight. And you just want to make a slit on the inner side of that part right there. Now, I like to make a bunch of small passes just in case there's a wire that's frayed out. I don't actually cut it. So I'm usually doing this right here to cut that plastic. And then I have my wire pulling tool and I actually pushed it in through the inside. Now, one thing that you have to realize is that on the other side of this, you have that AC uh, blower motor behind there. Uh, so you want to actually go at an angle down and towards the left. So now what I do is on the other side of the wire, I'll actually take my eight gauge wire because that's the what we're running to this uh, small amplifier. And I'll use some electrical tape right here. And then you want will be able to actually pull it from the inside all the way through. Now, one thing that I do do is I don't, I'll split loom up to that point, but then I'll leave this part open because I don't know how much wire is gonna actually be pulled onto the inside. So I wanna pull it all the way first. And then when this part is left, I'll pull a little bit back, loom the rest, continue doing my zip ties right here. That way it still looks nice. And to help us get through that grommet, we have some Kent Automotive Super Slick Dry Lube. This thing right here better than spit. I ain't lying to you. So what I want to do is I want to make sure this right here is really saturated. Now let's pull it from the inside. So now that we got that power wire in, next we want to go back to the engine bay and finish split looming the power wire. Then uh, using that one hand technique, I want to go ahead and finish zip tying right along that plastic trim along the edge of the engine bay. And of course we want to go ahead and flush cut our zip ties for a clean look. Once we get done with that, we want to make sure we pop off all the panels and then we want to zip tie along the factory wiring from the front to the back and then tuck the rest. I have it ran from the front to the back as you've seen already. Now what's going to make this easier if we actually pop this seat up. So I need to make sure there's not like a something you got to push in or pull because you don't want to break that clip. God dang. All right, so, all right, so I got it up, and just like I thought, you're gonna feel for this part right here, and that part has to pull forward in order to release that seat. Now, we don't need to take it up all the way. We just need the seat to be able to come up like that so we can finish running our power wire up under here. Pop that panel up a little bit. All right. Use that same tuck method. Oh. That's 
gonna go under there. Make sure it tucks nicely up under here, doesn't get in the way of that other clip. Mount that back down. And then now we have that also dirty up under here. But either way, we have our power wire ran from the front to this point. Now we have to get inside the trunk. Now the whole time we still have our wire puller still attached to this and the reason I did that is because I figured that we would need it to get to the trunk. So what I want to do is I want to take my light, take my light and just kind of have it right there shining in that location and then we'll go inside the trunk and trying to see, can we see that light somewhere? So right there, we can actually see the light. So that lets us know that we don't actually have to take the back seat off. We just have to go ahead and get that thing to go through this hole. So what I'm probably gonna do is take my light from up under the seat, flash it from inside the trunk, so then I can kind of guide my wire puller through this little crevice. Yeah, go ahead and pull it. All right, guys, so that's about it. We have that power wire and the remote wire ran down the same side, and I just got done bolting my ground over here. Now, I'm not actually gonna show me actually hooking this amp up because I've done plenty of amp videos before. I will link all that stuff in the description and put that card in the corner for you. You know, the one that goes to the battery goes to the positive side on the amp that turns the amp on, that's the remote, and this is the ground that goes in the ground spot. Pretty self-explanatory, but I will still link that video for you. Now, if you wanna know how to get a 12 volt ignition from the factory like tapping off a cigarette lighter or a uh, fuse box safely I will link that for you and for those who are actually wondering why did I ground it on the other side this is an all-in-one JL audio amplified sub and it was on the left side which is why I grounded there because it was the shortest one but this video actually brought you some type of value please hit that like button don't forget to subscribe share comment if you want to quick shout out to all my patreon supporters that link is also in the description till next time this is your boy jp signing out y'all have a blessed day